टुडे वी विल सी एनवायरमेंटल साइंस प्लैनेट फर्स्ट थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड सीबीएसई टेक्स्ट बुक इन दिस वी विल सी यूनिट थ्री एनिमल्स इन दैट चैप्टर एट क्रीपी क्रॉलिस एंड फ्लायर्स Chapter eight: Creepy crawlies and flyers. We can see various kinds of creepy crawlies and flyers all around us. You may see them indoor, creeping on the walls and floors, flying from one place to another, or outdoors in the garden and in the wild. Some creepy crawlies and flyers are harmful to us, while others are useful. Let us learn more about these creatures. Insects. An insect is a small animal that has six legs and often has wings. Thus, insects can both crawl and fly. The body of an insect is divided into three main parts: head, thorax, and abdomen. The head of the insect is attached to a pair of antennae. Some in insects have a pair of wings which help them to fly around. The insects use their six legs to crawl across various type of surfaces. This is a wing. This is abdomen. This is thorax. This is head. This is a eye. Antenna. Leg. Some insects, such as flies, has two wings, while insects like bees have four wings. Insects such as termites and ants have wings when they are young, but they lose these wings when they grow old. Then comes the activity. Spiders. The spider is not an insect. Insects have six legs, but the spider has eight legs. The spider is a creepy crawly that catches its food with the help of the web in sp its spines. It uses its web like a net to trap insects. The spider produces a very thin sticky thread from its body and spins it into a web. The web is so thin that it cannot be easily be seen by insects. When they try to fly through the web, they get trapped and are eaten by the spider. Snails and slugs. Snails and slugs are small animals with soft bodies. the bodies of these creepy crawlies are divided into an are not divided into any parts snails have a hard shell on their body within which they hide when they sense danger we can find snails and slugs slithering slowly across gardens and parks worms worms can be found both in water and on land These creepy crawlies are of different sizes. Their bodies do not have any bones. Earthworms and lung worms are some of the commonly seen worms around us. Earthworms are also known as farmers' best friends. They help in turning the soil and making it fertile. Reptiles Reptiles are creepy crawlies that have scales on their backs. Lizards, chameleons, garden lizards and snakes are known as reptiles. Lizards can be seen crawling across the walls while others roam outside. A chameleon can change its color according to the color of its surroundings. This makes it easy for the chameleon to hide its presence. It cannot be spotted very easily. This is called as camel flage. Reptiles such as lizards and chameleons have a sticky tongue. They use this sticky tongue to catch insects such as mosquitoes, moths, house flies, etc. Creepy crawlies and flyers around us. Have you noticed that many creepy crawlies and flyers live around us? They are not easy to spot and tend to stay away from people. 
Prithik Rana is saying flyers hide in different ways to protect themselves from enemies and to take rest. Insects such as cockroaches hide in the drains, gutters and moist places. House flies and mosquitoes fly away quickly to save themselves. They are usually found near garbage dumps and pool of still water. Ants hide in the cracks between walls or build mounds for themselves in the garden. Bees build their special nests on trees and high buildings. Useful creepy crawlers and flyers. Creepy crawlers and flyers are considered to be harmful in general. However, there are some that can be very useful for human beings. The honey bees collect nectar from the flowers and produce honey from it. We use honey to sweeten our food. Silk worms form cocoons around their bodies. Threads of silk are obtained from these cocoons which are then woven into silk cloth. Butterflies and honeybees carry pollen from one flower to another. When they sit on the flowers to drink nectar, pollen gets stuck to their little feet. When they fly over to the next flower, the pollen on their feet gets transferred to it. This helps the plant to reproduce. Harmful creepy crawlers and flyers. Some harmful creepy crawlers and flyers are outlined as follows. When house fly sits on garbage and excrete, germs stick to their legs. These flies then sit on our food and transfer the germs from their legs to our food. Eating this kind of food can cause disease such as dysentery, cholera, etc. When mosquitoes bite, they spread diseases such as malaria, dengue, chikungunya, etc. TCC flies are found in Africa. They cause sleeping sickness in human beings. The sleeping pattern of people get disturbed. Sleeping sickness also causes fever, weakness and headache. Locusts eat fully grown crops and damage them. Wasps sting human beings. They sting in very painful and can cause swelling and redness in the skin. Let's reel in summing up. Creepy crawlers and flyers. Insects have six legs and sometimes have wings. Snakes and slugs have soft bodies. Harmful creepy crawlers and flyers, mosquitoes, waps, houseflies. Worms have no bones in their bodies. Useful creepy crawlers and flyers, honeybees, butterflies, silkworm. Spiders have eight legs. Reptiles have scales on their bodies. Exercises. Stick the correct option. This insect has a painful bite, wasp. The number of legs that spiders have, it is six legs. This insects collect nectar from the leaves, it is honeybee. Silk worms build around themselves cocoon. Right, true or false, insects have six legs, true. And ants make mounds for themselves, false. Honeybees causes malaria, false. PZC flies around are found in Asia which is false. Name the following. An insect has two wings. It flies. One harmful insect. It is wasps. One useful insect. It is honeybees. A reptile that changes its color. It is chameleon. Label the body parts of an insect. Antenna, eyes, thorax, leg, wings, head. Match the following. Earthworms, no bones in the body, snails and slugs, soft bodies, insects, three main parts, reptiles, scales on the back. Then comes the activity. Yes, this completes the chapter. Thank you.